Welcome to Break Check. <laughs> Welcome to Break Check. <laughs> so I was going to talk about, I pro- I said last week that Don't I was Don't say the word. You can't say it. Because if you say the word, we're going to go back down to zero. We're already at seven days of not bringing it up. Okay, yeah, so. We're one episode. So if last we get through week, this episode, we'll be at one full episode of without. So last week I said I wouldn't talk about. The thing. The thing. Okay. You know who, you of, know what. Of they who must yeah. not be named. Of it, mu- it who must not, be, it what should, must not be named. Because it's a what. Yes. It what it what must not be named. <laughs> they, what? they shall not be named. They shall not be, it, it it shall not be, not named. be named. It what they shall not be named. Yes. So I looked up forklifts. Oh, that are propane. Well, like, I mean, sometimes. Yeah, we're off propane or fuel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gas, propane, the other stuff sometimes. The other stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. But... Just a f- just a few cool forklifts that I found. Uh-huh. The um, biggest forklift in the world. Um, it's a drawing. It's, it's not real. <laughs> no, it is. But they have a drawing on here instead of an actual image. Why are we talking about forklifts? I don't know. Because they're they have wheels and steering wheels and engines and they're car like. Is this all you had? It's what I came up with. <laughs> Forklifts? Are we going to be doing forklift challenges in the future? I mean, we could. You never know. We we could. Just don't get your head it's, cut off. By it's one. a it's a type of vehicle. It is. So, car. So is, so is a bicycle. Yeah. We can and do a, bicycle challenges and a skateboard. We could do skateboard challenges. <laughs> if I'm sitting, the uh, Calmer, Calmer. It's K A L M A R. K A L M A R Calmer. Calmer? Yeah. Ceramic. It's pronounced ceramic. Ah, the ceramic. <laughs> <laughs> the Calmer DCG 850, which currently holds the Guinness World Record for forklift lifting capacity. So it's able to lift nearly 190,000 pounds. Wow. Ooh. That's What's, a big boy. Does that is there a picture of the real one? I'm sure I could probably look it up. Instead of a draw because based off of that drawing and the the size of the person on it, it doesn't look like it would be a big enough one. That's true. That's fair. Hmm. That's crazy. 190 grand. What would weigh 190,000 pounds for it to try to lift up? Elephant. <laughs> it doesn't weigh 190,000 pounds. <laughs> Five elephants. Wow. Maybe uh, that's it? Yeah, I well, I it mean. it would be bigger than that. Yeah, but like Fancy this is where you Pro sit, truck. though. This is, maybe this like is an, the seat, and this like an is probably aircraft, a, maybe. Yeah, but this is where you sit, obviously, and this here, oh, that's just a door. I wonder what the counterweight but, is. That so whole thing's got to be a solid counterweight. Yeah, this uh, entire back end here is usually on a forklift, like solid metal. I wonder if it was very, like the first heavy. goose, where it's like, yeah, it flew, but it was like 10 feet off the water for <laughs> less than a mile. <laughs> and like, this is like, yeah, it lifted 190,000 pounds, but it was like, a quarter of an inch off the ground until it fell forward. <laughs> but you, well, did it pick it up and then move? I don't know. <laughs> because that would be the real test of a forklift. According to this, it's uh, 12 pounds. 12 LB? 12 pounds? <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, capacity is, so this one has a capacity of 85,000 pounds. So this one's not the biggest one, apparently. What, hmm. what the heck? But you have to consider, though, the length, the the, the length of it. Yeah. So the counterbalancing on it. Yeah. So the farther away the the counterbalance is from the pivot point, which would be the front wheels, because you obviously all your weights in in the front of the wheels. Yep. The farther away the counterbalance is from that pivot point, the more force right. it's going to put on that pivot point. So the fact that it's so long is interesting to me because most forklifts are fairly short. By the way, going back to the elephants. You're still stuck on the elephants? So around 21 around twenty-one to 23 elephants will make around 190,000 pounds. 21 to 23. Mm-hmm. So 22 wow. elephants. Well, it depends on, the, it depends on how big they are. Because are females are less than males. Are we talking African elephants? Are we talking desert elephants? Well, I was looking are it up and said something about Asian, Asian male elephants? Asian elephants. Around, they're around like 11,500. So but the females are around like 7,000 to 9,000. Oh, so they weigh about what my excursion did. Yeah. So you had an elephant. Yeah, we drove around an elephant for a while. I mean, it was about the size of an elephant. (laughs) It was was a big boy. Yeah. We named him Bronson. Aw. 
Yeah, he was he was thirsty. Thirsty. He was thirsty. Mm. Bronson yeah. was thirsty. It it should have had a trunk on it to suck fuel from the gas station. It should have. <laughs> That was crazy, man. It's 7.8 miles to the gallon. Wonder what the, do you remember uh, there was a movie called Be Cool? It had The Rock in it. Oh. And um, is that, John that's Travolta. Not, that's not the sledding one, is it? No. Oh, okay. No, this is a different one. Where there's a scene where um, there's a guy pulls up in a H2. Mm -hmm. It was like shortly after the H2s came out. Oh, okay. And John Travolta comes up and he's like, hey, what's the thing? So then get uh, 10 miles per gallon because they're making fun of his. I think he came up in like a little. I think it was a Prius. <laughs> oh. but, but John Travolta was like this big producer, this you know big shot in the mm -hmm. movie. And he pulls up and he's like, uh, they make fun of his Prius. And he's like, what, what does your Hummer there get? Does it get like 10 miles a gallon? He's like, nine. He goes, oh. Like he's proud of it. <laughs> but uh. I wonder what like the worst gas mileage car is. Uh. Oh, interesting. I don't know. We could find out for next week. We, we could. could. Or we could do fresh research. Yeah. Or we can still talk about forklifts. So these forklifts are these are really awesome. These are omnidirectional forklifts. Why did Have it you look seen like these? they were trying to look like they were trying to impale somebody? They were they were moving. They had the a dummy. dummy they were, had a dummy right in front of it, and they had like a a pole, like a joust on this forklift. Well, it's not driving a joust. Into the dummy. It's, it's not a joust. It's it's a fork for picking up pallets. <laughs> it looked like a, like a dowel that you would pick up a like right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, uh, uh, See that? Uh, uh, and they're. They're gonna drive up a fork. Like, see it? Oh, it is a fork. Look, and he's hol he's gonna holding. He's holding this dummy. No, he's holding the dummy up with the fork. She's holding the dummy up with the fork. Yeah, they has no choice. They're getting ready to skewer this dude. Well, that's what MythBusters does. That's although that's although, disgusting. Why would they be testing that? Okay, well, what is your topic, bro? <laughs> does the name Tim Flock or Jocko Flocko mean anything to either of you? No, no I don't know who any of those people are. Okay, in the 1950s, I believe it was 1953, in the early stages and early years of NASCAR. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my thing. From forklift to NASCAR. Yeah. What an interesting this episode. This is fun. Oh. Do you, you like animals? We were just talking about elephants. Do you like Do little you? monkeys, like the capuchin monkeys? Those are cute. Yeah. They attack you. They like rip your eyes this But they also good brought story. the Ebola there disease is no, in outbreak. There is no bad things that happened in this story. Oh, so no Ebola. Nope. Oh. Nope, and no attack but, humans. So Tim Flock was a NASCAR driver. He actually drove a Hudson Hornet. Okay. From the movie Cars. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he drove a Hudson Hornet, 1953. Name was Tim Flock. Okay. Well, the owner, that was like still early years of NASCAR. And the owner um, came up to Tim and he goes, hey, man, I want you to put a monkey in the car. I have a pet monkey. His mm. name's Jocko Flocko. And he goes, can, can we do that? He goes, I don't know. We just won't tell anybody. <laughs> So they put a, a little racing suit on uh -huh. this monkey and they devised a uh, like an X harness of seatbelts okay. for this monkey to sit passenger in a Hudson Hornet, raced eight full races. They finished um, in the top five, like five times. Wow. Actually went to the podium once. He's the only monkey to ever ride in a NASCAR in a race. I only monkey to ever win a race. And he, the dry, Tim would say that it was the funniest thing because they would sort of like hide him in the car during <laughs> the pre, all the pre, whatever, pre-pit stuff. Okay. And then they would take off and the monkey would be sitting passenger in his harness. And every time, because the cars are like less than an inch from each other. Right. So every time a guy would come up and look over, there'd be this monkey. And he would kind of freak out. <laughs> And he goes, there were times where people like would see it, freak out, and like hit the wall. And he said it was awesome because the monkey would laugh at him. <laughs> Every time they would lose control, Jocko would laugh at him and like cheer and do all these crazy things. And he said it was in the eighth race. So they in Na hilarious. NASCARs, they used to have, I don't know if they still do or not, but they used to have a door in the floorboard, like a little panel that you could open, the driver could open up and check the um, his tires, like how they were wearing. Oh, interesting. Like as they were going. Uh huh. Well, I guess as. Tim would be checking the tires. Jocko would see him do this. Well, he got out of his harness one time, and Tim Ooh. didn't realize, and he o had opened that up, and he didn't like fall out. I told you this is a good story. I was just say, I was just that say. Sorry, but he said that he looked over and Jocko had opened the thing, and he's watching the tires, and he like a rock came up and like didn't hurt him. He was he had a helmet too. Oh, and like okay. hit, him, hit him in the helmet, and he goes, "That was Jocko's last race," because um, he was able to get out of his harness. Oh so, yeah, that's mm. dangerous. Um, but yeah, so. In 1953, there was a capuchin monkey named Jocko Flacco that actually rode passenger, rode shotgun in NASCAR. 
Wow. wow. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Jocko Flacco. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> In Hudson Hornet. Wow. Cool story. Huh. Yeah. Uh, a... I told you it was a good story. It is a good story. Lighthearted. No one got hurt. I do have okay. a di- I do have a second topic. Oh. Does it involve in what that must not be named? No, it does not. Oh, okay. 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 So right. interesting. Um, I think we might have talked about it before, but have you heard of um what three words? What three words? Oh yeah. Okay. Is this yeah. like a game, like a car game? No, a actually. Game? It, it's it's a, a company who have decided to improve um Improve navigation, improve GPS, kind of in a way. And it's called what three words? Yeah, what three words? Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, we have talked about this. Yeah, yeah. So, because I talked about the MGRS that the military uses. Yeah, yeah. The grid system. Yeah, yeah. So as a refresher, um, similar to what the military uses, they broke up the entire globe into ten foot squares. Globe. The Earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> they broke up the entire world into ten foot squares. <laughs> I knew it. See, I knew if I heard it we're just not, from somebody we're, else's we're, mouth, I knew that's what would prove it. We're not in the coach. That's we're not in the coach. Oh, sorry. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Mm-hmm. But so, as a refresher, they broke up the entire world into ten foot squares, and they gave every single square a three or three words for that square. Is the like the word or the three words within the square, or is it like? Three of the four borders of the square has a an award assigned. Is it like the so borderline or is it the square itself? The square itself is is the location and then the what three words tells you what square it is. Okay. So so it's uh so it's far more accurate than like a typical GPS. Like and the squares don't move. So like no matter what happens on the earth, the square is always in that same spot. Mm-hmm. Um so you could just Rip down your house and build a new house, and you know that square of where your house is is still the same square. You know where um, you could buy a square of land and be um, labeled as a legitimate like lord. Yeah, don't they do that in Ireland? Yeah, you can buy a, yeah. like a w- one square foot plot of land in Ireland, and if you own yeah. land in Ireland, you are a lord. Or are you serious? Or lady, or, or if a, you're or a lady, I think it's lady. Yeah, I think lady. Um, but yeah, they send you a certificate declaring you a lord or lady yeah. of the land. Yeah, oh my I don't know how expensive it is. We should do that. Yeah, we could. Yeah, you would have to call me Lord Richard, <laughs> Lord Jason, my Lord, my my Lady Jen. We could put like we could make our own little flag with the Brickjack logo. <laughs> You're there. I declare this land Brickjacks. <laughs> Brickjackatopia or something. And then after that, taxes roll around. Oh, never mind. Let's uh, sell well, this land. We're <laughs> our own country. We don't pay taxes to anybody. We pay taxes to ourselves. That's true. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll ha- we'll if they to... want to put a road through our land, they better pay us. That's true. Mm-hmm. And then and then we'll uh, we'll have a place to put our racetrack to, uh, to, to test cars on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Micro machines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> The contact patch of one tire would be yeah. our land. We'd have Hot Wheels and we have to do with fingers and stuff like that. Oh, no, we're standing on somebody else's land, though. Like those uh, like those little skateboards that kids use. Oh, you know, yeah. The yeah. fingers to tech decks. Yeah. We'd all cars. have to be like scrunched together in the square. Mm-hmm. Back to the grid system. The what the words. Just, what three words. Sorry, I just got a notification. Our website had 14 views last week. Nice. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, for who anyone who's checked out our website, break How many of those com. 14 people do you think purchased uh, merch? Not a one. Let's find out, well, shall we? We don't know. No, I don't Good. know. Not a one. Uh, so optimistic. Sorry. So monthly revenue on our website is zero. Yes. <laughs> wow, I hey, knew it. Remember. Hey, golf rules. The lower rules. you are, the more potential you have. That's true. That's true. We have all the potential now. Mm-hmm. You want to know so, some interesting facts, though? Oh, boy. <laughs> About our website. What three words related or no? No, this is just okay. that. This is separate. Okay. Okay. Um, we have 170 views or visits this month from the United States. Okay. One from Brazil. Oh, oh. Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. Hey. Uh, Vin Diesel has been in Brazil. Has been in Brazil? Yeah. Well, it's in a movie, so it has to be real, right? <laughs> oh, that's true. But we also have one view on our website from Japan. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Right. Okay. That's cool too. Yeah. Brazil that and Japan. Really cool. Yeah. So nice. Some, some fun facts about breakchk.com. Uh, what's uh, doing? Does anybody know any Japanese words? We can say Arigato. hello. Arigato. 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 Uh, thank you. 
Oh, what's, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that? I, that applies, though, okay. for yeah. your viewership. So um, the reason why I bring up what three words. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, what three words do you live on right now? No, don't say. We don't want people to know where we live. <laughs> yeah. I almost was, fell for it. Just kidding. <laughs> what three words is Bucky's on? I don't know. We could look it up. Because that's where we've been going a couple of weeks. That's true. That's we could, true. but because it's so accurate, we could look up what three words are the front door and what three words or, are the fuel pump or the beaver statue in front of the store. Yeah, that would have its own what three word. That's awesome. The reason why I bring it up though is because um, Aston Martin is now going to implement what three word navigation into their future cars. Oh. Really? It's like so. That's kind of cool. It's starting. That is cool. So it's starting to gain some traction. I wonder what the if it's an advantage over like latitude longitude. Because that's to a specific point. True. So it's probably not going to be more accurate than that. It's just going to be easier to remember. Yeah. So like, so if, you remember it, what three words? Yeah. So as like an example, in this article, it has an Aston Martin, and its um, mm -hmm. its location is um, Russia's jungle crafted. Russia's jungle crafted are the three words. Yeah. So if you were to type in those three words into a navigation, it would take you to that square on the planet. I wonder if there's any um, <laughs> like questionable, like if there's a location and they chose the three words that is kind of like a slight to that to that place. That would suck. Suppo know? Supposedly they tried really hard to make sure that all the words that they used and we're locations not were, you were not offensive or anything. And they tried to choose words that were would, could translate easily to multiple languages. Like I could see mm. the headquarters for the Girl Scouts. <laughs> Boy, not here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, would, that would be funny. Yeah, I wonder if they did do any of that, like on saying. purpose. There's got to so. be something. <laughs> oh, or or the sewage company poop is here. Yeah, poop is here. Poop underground. We smell poop bad. Poop underground. We smell bad. <laughs> do we not want, sniff. Yeah. We cry every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many tears here. <laughs> Many tears here. Yeah. I hate job. <laughs> I yeah. hate job. <laughs> Um, but wipe your butt. There's gotta be like someone who developed that has to have that sense of humor. If somebody yeah. has wipe your butt, wipe oh your man, butt. That's an awesome. That's like a, a porta potty manufacturing yeah. plant. <laughs> wipe your butt. Good fish here. Mm -hmm. uh, At certain ponds I, and stuff. Oh, I thought you were talking about porta potty. Good <laughs> fish here. I'm like, no. I, I transitioned that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Wipe your butt. Yeah. Good fish else. here. I was thinking ponds in my head. <laughs> You're thinking what in your head? I was thinking ponds. A pond. We went from porta potty, <laughs> yeah. wiping your butt to a pond. Have you, ever, have you ever pooped in a pond, Jen? No. <laughs> How do you go from porta potty wiping your butt to a pond? I don't know. I'm going to see the recreational things afterward. Is That's where my poop, eye. <laughs> porta potty pooping is recreational? No. My mind went to, hey, if people need a fish out of pond, good fish here. We were talking about <laughs> porta potties, and my brain was thinking about a very different type of fish. Wow. All right. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, sorry. You did say your favorite thing about our conversations is the ADHD of it all. Yeah. yeah, right? yeah. That's extreme today with you. <laughs> yeah, it is extreme. It sucks when, like, my mind thinks of something, and I'm like, that's great. And then I say something else out loud, uh -huh. and I make no connection to it to anybody else. And I was like, oh, yeah, I said that in my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, it's like uh, Austin Powers. <laughs> How do I tell them I have no inner monologue? <laughs> <laughs> we should have a porta potty that says "Good fish." Here. No, good, yeah, fish. good fish here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good fish here, porta potty company. <laughs> <laughs> That's the timeout spot. Yeah. You go fishing. Go fish. <laughs> We're gonna be like, what? <laughs> Why is it called good fish here? Don't ask. <laughs> don't, don't so, ask. Let's, so let's so let's let's. Uh, <laughs> Let's determine the businesses that we've created now. We have, we pigeon, have pizza. Pi pigeon Pizza, Good Fish Here. Uh huh. And was there anything and else? I made, and I was the one that way it came out of my mouth, which sucks. And I, I mean, did, I talked to, did, I don't know if I did or not on the pod, uh, my sit and spin laundromat restaurant idea. No. I don't remember that. I think it'd be a good idea. You So if you people go to laundromats, uh -huh. you just sit there and wait. While the washer and the dryer do their deal, how boring! You don't want to leave because someone might steal your stuff. Right. If you had on the back side of it a restaurant, or some kind of like a Dave and Buster's kind of place where you can oh, yeah. keep busy, 
Yeah, yeah. And so if it was a restaurant and the laundromat, you call it sit and spin. <laughs> oh. Because you can go eat or you know do something while you're waiting for your laundry. That'd be ah. nice. Yeah. It would be cool too. Like you could uh you could have like a, a camera like at each like station. And yeah, then, it could and then project you could, like, onto your plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like all the but all the dishes would be laundry themed. Like if you oh, just yeah. had like a like a um a mix of everything, like a chum bucket. Oh, It'd yeah. be called like dirty socks or something like that, <laughs> you know. That would be that would be cool. that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, Ooh, yeah. So so now we have sit and spin pigeon pizza and good fish here. Good fish here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All fancy stuff. All fancy. <laughs> we should just on the pigeon pizza on the bathroom door should say good fish here. We could. I don't know oh, if some God, of the women no. would take that we could well combine. though. Combine. Yeah. <laughs> we could combine all three. Oh, the because you oh. could have the sit and spin restaurant that serves pigeon pizza. Oh, there you go. And the bathrooms are porta potties that say "good fish here." <laughs> we'll just we'll just get three shipping <laughs> containers and put them all together. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Back to the so Aston, Aston Martin is not the only one who's uh, um, putting putting Using three uh, words. Yeah, what three words in their vehicles? So um, Nikola um, is becoming North America's first truck manufacturer to integrate what three words? Into mm. their navigation system. That's awesome. Yeah, which actually would be very helpful as an LTL truck driver. Sometimes, like companies are really bad about putting signs up to let you know where you need to go to deliver. So if you had a what three words, and I knew that I needed to go to this ten foot square mm-hmm. to to make the delivery, it would be much easier to find that you could not fit your seventy five foot truck on. <laughs> no, but I can know where to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. But also, um, there was another um, automotive, uh, Yodel. Yodel? Yeah. Yodel Yodel Partners. (laughs) Uh, Yodel Partners with what three words to enhance deliveries? So it's another delivery company, but it's, I'm assuming it's another country, but um, but yeah, they deliver with vans and stuff like that. So it's kind of. What three words would be a whole lot easier than lat long because. If you don't understand how latitude and longitude numbers work, mm-hmm. it can be extremely confusing. Right. So this is like um, navigation for dummies. It's more accurate. Simplistic yeah. navigation. Yeah. Let's see. That's simp, nice that it's more simp simple. Simp nav. It's simp it's a nav. Sim, it's the simp of navs. Oh jeez. Ha ha ha. I don't ha, even know what that ha, means, ha. but it sounds cool. Where where's the Bucky's at that we're going to? Denton, Denton Texas. Texas. If you're going to be in Denton, Texas at Bucky's when we're going to be there, then we'll say hi. You should say hi to us. Because I know that we're the most recognizable faces on the internet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently the what three words for Bucky's in Denton, Tens- Denton, Texas that we're going to is beast drama nutrients. Beast drama <laughs> nutrients. We should incorporate those three <laughs> words into our, our shoot. Beast drama nutrients. Yeah. We should. If, I wonder if they sell Mr. Beast chocolate bars. Only Walmart oh. holds them. And we have to eat them dramatically. Oh, they have a Tesla supercharger. Let's see what we're, three words in. What did I you mean, mention? Sorry. No. Um, <sighs> he said the word. Oh, I didn't. Oh, no. No, I didn't say. I didn't say that that word. But I said. He did not, I said he did not say the word in which Mona I said a named. company name. But it's not the same. No. It's not the same. No, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. No. Where's the statue? Where's the Bucky statue? Um, He's trying to deflect now. <laughs> so Bucky's dumpster is what, at, dump- is what, at what, what, item statue? fishes bashed. So almost <laughs> good fish here. Good fish here? <laughs> What's the statue? There's a, there's a little beaver statue at the front of all the Bucky's, I, I think. I don't know We're where it is. We're not going to park near the dumpster, I like the Jason. Entrance. I don't know where, where it in. is. Okay. Um, the entrance. No, 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 to the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where the Bucky is statue it, is. Is it, is it right there? Is I that don't the know. Statue? Can you zoom in anymore? No. Oh, maybe uh, that's it. Let's just go oh, with may, that. May, can, can, I, can I put my little guy down here? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't see a statue anywhere. Oh, there's a Penske truck. Oh, wait a minute. Did you find it? I think so. Ha ha. There he is. There oh. he is. So he's in the corner right there. You see okay. him? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm at a bad angle to be able to see him. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. It's fine. Okay. I believe you. You have two eyes. 
Uh, sometimes. What? What? Um, what? What? Are you, is there something you're not telling me? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, I'm picturing Pirates of the Caribbean where the guy has the fake eye. Oh, yeah, and it, it pops, pops out. out. <laughs> and that's the seven, seven pieces of eight. That you're Jack in the way, car. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Is the eyeball. You're in the way, car. Uh, how, how do I get back to... Um, aha. There you go. So you know it's in the corner. All right. Figure it out. Right so, there in the middle of the circle. Yes. Right there. Okay. What What's the Bucky statue? <gasps> stretch. Stretch composers. Glitz. Glitz. How do you spell that? G. Well, it's right there. Is it G L I T Z? Yes. Glitz. Yeah, glitz. Glitz. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah. Stretch composers. Glitz. <laughs> so the Bucky statue that we'll be going to is. What three words stretch composers glitch? Okay, okay. Glitz. Glitz. So glitz. Not glitch. Here's the thing. What it's if you have a square. navigator? At, and I know you'll see it on your screen. Mm -hmm. But what if there are some places that don't, that are not as like technology or they don't have as much technology incorporated and they still have to call the people? Yeah. And like they see it on their phone. Like the people can, the truck drivers can see it on their phone. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they use that technology. But the person has to call in and be like, they need to go here. Stretch composure glitz gl glitz <laughs> and yeah. then the truck driver's like what or what if or what if they say well, glitz I mean, and they hear glitch oh glitch <gasps> what if they hear glitch and they're like but, why am I going to Nebraska you could you could you could spell it out I mean you could here's another question or, te or text Does it to the them the order of I'm the sure words matter could. yes so you could have composers glitz what's the first one. Uh, stretch. stretch, and that's a completely different square. Just type in composers.glitz.stretch. See where it takes you. Mm -hmm. Do I have to put the dots? Yes. Okay. So the word dot, word Glitz dot, word. Dot stretch. Okay. Let's see if it goes to the same Bucky's. It does not. Ooh, where oh, where did it take you to? Uh, I don't know where this is. It's somewhere it looks like Spanish because it's right next to a place called... Restaurant La Cacona. Oh. And it's on the shore of either a lake or an ocean. <laughs> Where they have good fish here. That is not Buckingham, that Benton, <laughs> Texas. I'll tell you that. That is not, yeah. Can so you, uh, zoom out, see where where that's at? Eh. Let's see what continent it's on. So just changing the order of the words, same three words. That's crazy. Yeah, but if you put it in order. the wrong order. Can take it to a completely different place. Where is wow. that? Keep oh. Going out, where, keep going out. What? What? What country are, are we looking at? Is this America still? Uh, it's st in Peru. Whoa. Oh, so you go from stretch composers glitz. You're at a Bunkies in Denton, Texas. You yeah. go composers glitz stretch. You're at a lake in Peru. Whoa. Interesting. That is crazy. Order matters. Yeah. Yes, if it you're going to use this system, you yeah. better have the words in the right order. <laughs> what did... I wonder if our three names, I wonder if they use names or if it's just words. I don't think it's names. I don't think they do with names. Okay. Mm. Let's say put our names in there and see if it comes, something comes up. Let's see. Jen dot. This and that. See how he put you last? Yep. <laughs> well, you said the best for last, so. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> It does. It does not. It Nothing. gives. It gives us the option of menu dot Manson dot diehard. Cool. What does that say? Diehard. So I'm diehard. <laughs> you are diehard. And you're the menu. Yeah, and you're Manson. And I'm Manson. Uh -oh. Manson. Uh oh. Okay, Marilyn. <laughs> where is it? It looks like the middle of a farm field. Yeah, it's just. Where is that? So we're a farm field. Yeah, the three of us. We're just a boring old field and crops in what country? That looks like a Belgium. In Belgium. I've been, oh, Frankfurt. I've been there. Oh. I've been really near that spot. Wow. wow. That's so cool. Small world. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of roads and such in that area. Yeah, well, it's an old country. Hmm. It's been there a while. Hmm. Nice. A lot longer than America. America. Yeah. You could drive to Paris from there. Paris. Paris. Where, Paris it's, where everything smells like urine. And it's disgusting. Oh. It's very gross. Oh, yeah, because you have to pay to go to the, the toilet, right? To the loo. To and the it's loo. and it's legal, apparently, from what I understand, to just urinate in the street. No, mm -hmm. that should be illegal. You got to clean up your streets, man. There it's legal. 
That's gross. You can't <laughs> defecate, but you can urinate. I, I've Hold heard, your poop. I've heard. I've heard. Uh, I've heard that supposedly some women in in Paris don't wear underwear. They'll just wear like a skirt, and then and, they'll just like they squat. They just go. They'll just like squat where they stand. You know what we should do? We should um, just make random accusations against other countries (laughs) to get more viewership. Just get people to correct us. We will be the most hated. Did you know in Paris you can legally pee anywhere outside? (laughs) I don't know if that's true. That's what I've heard. (laughs) No, it's true. (laughs) Don't believe us. Don't believe us. Yeah. Is that not true? I don't know. I don't know. We should look it up. I know when I was there, it smelled like urine everywhere, so I would believe it. Oh. (laughs) A lot more than it does in Louisiana. It's supposed to be the place of love. Louisiana, where people love are and urine. drunk all the time and peeing on the streets, it smelled a lot more like urine there than it did in at Mardi Gras. Um, well, I can't remember the name of that street. Oh, uh, Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street, yep. Yeah, Bourbon Street. There is another long standing tradition in, in Paris that decidedly less pleasing. Um, since before the days of Napoleon, the city of love has battled the. Ordeous scourge of les pis something pis. Oh. Yeah, les, les pis. Yeah. Le. Or apparently it's it's uh, for wild peeing is what it means. Wild, wild peeing. peeing. Is yeah. that where you just like you unzip and just close your eyes and just, <laughs> just go ha- hands off? Just go for it. Wild, I guess. It's free roaming urine. But the widespread practice of public urination is technically illegal. Oh, so it is illegal. So it technically is illegal. According to what website? Is that Wikipedia? National Geographic. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> no credibility. We cannot believe that. I don't believe it. They're just trying to, you know, they're trying to, <laughs> trying to push down the rile demand. things. Though, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you pee illegal. where you want, Paris. I wonder if there are people out there who are like, I still don't care. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, it, it's probably just like... Technically, it's illegal in Kansas to do certain things that you can't nobody spit does. on a sidewalk in Kansas. Yeah. It's illegal to spit on the sidewalk. I didn't know that. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh, I've done that once. But you can spit in the street, and now you just admitted to it. You can expect a citation in the mail. Like a on the sidewalk. On the sidewalk, you can't spit on the sidewalk. Well, huh. I spit in the grass next to the sidewalk. That's fine. That's legal. Oh, okay. You can't spit on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. The place of walk. Oh, gotcha. Interesting. You can spit on the street, the grass, wherever. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. But, but what if it landed like a little bit on the sidewalk? Well, you got spit on the sidewalk. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> so, um, I mean, uh, c- there are clearly laws that police officers just don't enforce. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're required by law to stop for like when you're exiting a, dr- a driveway. If there's a sidewalk, you have to stop for the sidewalk and then again for the dr- at the end of the driveway. Oh. So like whenever you leave a quick trip, mm-hmm. legally you have to stop twice. If you yeah. don't, you can get pulled over for failure to yield. Right. And then in, I remember learning that when I was uh, getting my CDL in CDL class, mm-hmm. they're they're like, so if you're at a if you're at an intersection where you have a sidewalk and then a stop sign and then you can't see anything because there's trees blocking you, you have to stop at the sidewalk, mm-hmm. move forward to the stop sign, stop at the stop sign, and then you can move forward to where you can actually see the road past the trees yeah. and stop before you can make your turn. Yeah, so the idea is every level where there could be a person you have to stop for, every level where there's a, um, a sign, a traffic control device, you have to stop for, and then you have to stop again for visibility. Wow. Yeah. So My mind is blown. I mean, yeah. it makes sense, mm-hmm. though. You really want your mind blown? Hmm. 2012. Oh, not so a, long ago. A seventh grade girl, along with her grandparents... Mm-hmm. Um, they have credibility, unlike um, National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did a, a research project. So there was a guy a um, long, long time ago who had this theory that all over the U.S. presidents had, had no idea who, or it did not matter who you voted for. It okay. was all based off of a bloodline selection. So it didn't matter who you vote for. Okay. Bloodline selection says who the presidents are. And so this 12-year-old girl, or 12-year-old, 7th grade girl, and her grandparents did a research project for school in which they went through every single U.S. president Mm -hmm. and did their lineage, you know, mom, dad, mom, dad, mom, dad, all the way until every single one, including Donald Trump, this was before, um, you know, Biden, so they all traced back to one man. Wait, what? Every single U.S. president... Traced back to King John, the same King John of England that is 
the the John in the Robin Hood stories is based off of the evil, cruel, terrible King John. Interesting. Okay. Every single U.S. president lineage traces back to him, except one president. Um, the eighth president, Martin Van Buren, does not trace back to him. Whoa. However, Martin Van Buren, if you go one more generation, goes to King John's mom. So they all trace back to King John, and Martin Van Buren traces back to King John's mom. And then there was old folk. There was old folklore in that era that um, King John, he was part of the House of Planta- Plantagenin. That's how you pronounce it. So right. the House of Plantagenin, the folklore stated that it was the descendant of a demon. So like that whole Nephilim thing coming back. Yeah. Uh huh. So. That house, that's why every member, including King John, was so evil and wicked and everybody hated them. Uh huh. Like, and that's historical fact. Right. Were, he was a terrible king. Um, huh. And so the whole thing is by this design that every U.S. president, and I don't know about every world leader, but they just did this with the presidents. Hmm. Every single one of them traces back to King John. They're all related. That was, you know, they did this but when Trump was running. So it was, so Biden, you'd have to trace back Biden, but. Yeah, yeah. He's been around. Interesting. Yeah. King John has president. been around. Mm-hmm. He sowed his seed lineage. in many places. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are the odds? Because you can take it tons of people and right. be like, oh, well, we all go back to some sort of monarchy, some sort of, you know, yeah, that European or Asian or whatever monarchy or right. leadership, something. But what are the odds that every single U.S. president traced back to one person and then the, the one, one who didn't blown, was, yeah. was that person's mom? I wonder what the percentage of American people can trace back to. Well, I know we have um, English royalty in our bloodline. Right. But it's not King John. Well, that we know of. But like, if the percentage of American people could all trace their bloodline back to them, though, then it makes some more well, sense. We'd have to ask our older brother. He's really big into ancestry. That's true. Yeah. So. If you're into ancestry and you traced your bloodline, does it go back to some sort of British, English monarchy? And if so, was it King John or was it somebody oh. else? Interesting. So I'm assuming George Washington was also included Every in Every U.S. president. So, but why would, like, I mean, it's an interesting conspiracy, but I don't think it really means it's not anything. It's a conspiracy. It's, it's factual. Oh, well, fair enough. I mean. Then why are we in the coach? What's yeah. that? It's supposed to be conspiracy. Yeah. Because <laughs> the conspiracy theory is that this whole thing is by like royal choice and we don't like the voting does not matter. Oh, gotcha. That it's uh, some gotcha, sort gotcha. of like predetermined bloodline thing that we have no control over. That this who, evil, that this evil demonic, you know, influence uh-huh. that, you know, was uh, influential to the House of Plantagenin right. has affected mm-hmm forever our future of who our leadership will be to lead into evil wickedness. Uh, and that's why every single one of our presidents goes down that exact same bloodline. Interesting. So here's how you put it to the <laughs> test. At the next election that we have this year, uh huh. trace back the two. I was gonna say, yeah. And whichever one is in line with blood or is, is in the bloodline of King John. Everybody vote for that person. No, <laughs> well, he's going to win. They're no, going to win. Like that's, like that's oh, the person I mean, who vote, will win. Vote for the other person that... Oh, but you're, oh, you're but saying that it is, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't matter now doesn't because matter if it is for. Trump and Biden, uh-huh. they've both been president. Yeah. So whoever gets in has already been. Yeah. 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 Has already Biden is the only line. one that was, like I said, wasn't included in this because, because he, wasn't he wasn't president, president yet. yet. Interesting. Huh. But I thought that was pretty weird. Pretty That's strange. crazy. Yeah. That is it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah. What do you think about that? You have no control. Oh. That we know of. That we know of. I mean, do we ever really have control of anything? No. I mean, <laughs> can you prove that we're not dreaming right now? I can't. Can't prove that I we're can't, not in the matrix. Can't I can't prove can't we're prove, not in a simulation. I can't prove that you're seeing the same color of lighting that I am. So That's true. That is a, a very, very interesting thought. It is. That you have no idea whether or not we see the same shade that we yeah. we call the same shade the same color. Like what I identify as green, you might identify as red. Right. Mm-hmm. But we just I just know that that shade of color is green. Yeah. And you know it's red. And it's so and it made me think too it's like when people have preferences of color, like persons like, "Oh, I like that green, but not that green." 
Who's to say that you don't actually like the same green as the other person? You mm-hmm. just don't know. You see different shades. Yeah. Of it. You just don't know that. And you'll never th- know what other people see. Yeah. Because if somebody died and you remove their eyeball, like you have removable eyes. Right. Uh, we can shine a light through, but we'll still see the colors that we see. Yeah, because yep. the col- color not the is... color that you see. Yeah, because color is not really determined necessarily by your eyes. It's determined by the your brain, your brain that not processes inter- it. Yeah, interprets the signal. We could do a signal. brain transplant to see each other's colors and then switch back. <laughs> yeah, that'll go well. Yeah, yeah. yeah science has figured that lobotomy. one out. lobotomy. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's science. lobotomy. As a medical professional, you know that's real. That's fine. Yeah, see? I have to have to put you in a dog suit and put fake fire around you. What? 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 Where you did that the, come from? No the, kidding. I'm like the meme. The the dog meme. Oh, the one that says it's fine. Yeah, he's sitting there oh, reading it's fine with okay. all the fire. I was like, no. what the heck? I was like, we just had a, another good fish here or bad fish here moment. <laughs> it had a purpose, I swear. Here. Good fish here. Yeah. Oh, it's the it's once fine. you explained fine. the meme, I was like, where did that come from? At first. Pictured myself in a dog <laughs> costume and lighting it with matches and where I'm like, ah! Yeah. Yeah. It's like, this is fine. <laughs> you know, the fire. This is fine. Wow. Everything's fine. Should no? we look at the comments? Yeah, we should probably yeah. go to comments. Let's, let's go to comments. Yeah, let's go All to right. comments. Let me go back to my comment hat. Do we have comments? I don't know yet. Last week's video, car conversation battle. Mm-hmm. Man, I killed, I crushed that. That was awesome. Uh, all right. We have one comment. Wow. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Um... Fellas. Fellas. So apparently Jen is excluded. If NASA hasn't figured out the urine to fuel situation and gotten us to Mars, I'm going to say this is not scientifically possible. I thought it said impossible there for a minute, but oh. Yeah. Because remember how I mentioned we could yeah, yeah. maybe find a way to, to turn your urine into fuel. Fuel, yeah. So um she says if NASA hasn't figured it out then she's going to say it's not scientifically possible. Who said that? NASA, Anita. Oh. Oh. Anita, uh, NASA also said that we went to the moon, so. (laughs) It's real. Technically, you could turn your urine into fuel. You could, you could, because they already have systems in place to clean urine and turn it into drinking water, into clean water. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. (laughs) Um, but if you did just did that same process and then took the clean water and put it into a hydrogen fuel cell, now you have po- now you have power. Yeah. I think the uh, the urine astronauts the on the shuttle That's probably true. just didn't produce enough urine to fuel it. Like they could maybe produce enough urine to to f- maybe power certain parts of it. Maybe yeah, me. I had someone but, else uh, on a another pod I was listening to yesterday. Where they're talking about like trash issue and and dumps mm. and things, and they're like, yeah, "Why yeah. don't we just dump stuff into space?" Huh? It'd be incredibly expensive. Yeah. Yeah, like rocketing it up there. Yeah. But I mean, we would have no issues with landfills here. And then the other idea we that they talked about worry about like pieces of trash falling back to Earth though. It would burn up. Yeah, it, it would hopefully. burn up on the atmosphere. <laughs> it'd burn up on the return trip. Depending the, on uh, what it was. There are other. And then all the toxics would just fall into our atmosphere. The yep. other suggestion I heard made was, because they were, they were talking about how to get mm-hmm. rid of trash, mm-hmm. um, obviously. And this one would be a lot cheaper and I think a lot more fun. Is instead of sending it, sending it to a landfill, mm-hmm. send it to a landmine. And put all your trash in landmines and let it be shrapnel. Wait, so, wait. That would be fun. I got so, killed by French fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a French eye, French fry. <laughs> So you put the trash in, yeah. Like instead of in creating mine. shrapnel to put in landmine, you just fill it with garbage and trash. I died from food poisoning, not from the explosion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, no. The explosion like really messed me up, and what really killed me was the food poisoning. <laughs> the irony is, I got killed by salt, and it's a preservative. <laughs> <laughs> with with my luck, I would get the banana cream pie landmine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got killed by bananas. <laughs> Banana kill pie. Speaking of banana cream pies, I was thinking about that. It's like we should save up to get a crazy cart, and then yeah, we've talked about that a lot. Yeah, and then we, I could ride the crazy cart to try to avoid you two throwing pies at me. Okay. <laughs> Whose land are we going to use that will allow us? I used to be a pitcher, can, can a pitcher a and an outfielder, lot. bro. I got pretty good accuracy throwing stuff. <laughs> use a parking lot. We're gonna have to have to clean that parking lot. No. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll just find some international square. We'll go to that three words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what three words? Dang. What about, is there one that says pie in face? Oh. Pie in face? Or banana cream and pie? Uh, let's find out. Uh, so there is pine pine into face. Oh. Pine into face? Ow. <laughs> Not pie though. There's no pie. You know what's really fun to do when you go camping? There's also pile into face. <laughs> is is whenever people when you you designate the place to defecate, okay. you go up the hill from that person and you roll pine cones down at them. That's that's a fun thing to do. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's fun when I did it. Okay. It's funny. Oh, it was fun when you ow. did it. Oh. Ow! Ow! <laughs> what is ow? Stop throwing pine cones at me. <laughs> I put in banana cream pie, and the closest thing was banana dream pine. Hmm. But I don't, it's just, there's no image. It's just a big grayed out oh. picture. Well, I have the options for pie and face for pine into face, which is in Maryland, pile into face, which is in Montana, and pine kind of face is in Oklahoma. Oh, wow. okay. So I'm, I'm scrolling out. This is in... Oh wow! This is actually near Denton, Texas. Oh really? Ki- kind of, oh. kind of near. It's I mean further west. Um, Banana Dream Pine goes to Highway 152 north of Amarillo, Texas. Huh? Yeah, like di- straight north of Amarillo. Hmm. Hey, if you have anything that we need to check out, or you recommend us sort of review or look at or do any content with at at a Bucky's. Let mm. us know because we'll check it out because I know those places are supposedly, which is so weird. The thought of it's a gas station that has turned into a like a tourist attraction. Yeah, it's a gas station. It is, but it is much. I've more never than been. That. I am. I'm curious as to what the like. What is so drawing about a gas station? I th- just I think the size of it. It's more than just its size. Like it's it's huge and like it's, the bathrooms are massive, but like. So I guess for example is they have they had the one that we went to had a huge station in the middle where all that station did and it was a big station um like a all, kiosk in the center of it yeah um and all they did there was make barbecue sandwiches oh yeah but it was like one big area and that and they had like I mean, three it, staff people in there to make barbecue sandwiches it sounds like a food court for that particular area, Food yeah. Food court slash souvenir shop. For the most part, that's basically what it is. Um, but they have gro- they have groceries there. You can Welcome do your groceries. Welcome to Bucky's Airport Hair Care and Tire Center. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> but you can do your groceries. There were people there that were actually like, appeared to be doing like their weekly grocery shopping. Do they have shopping. shopping carts? Yeah. They do. For real? They do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Walmart. Yeah. It's essentially. With a, a lot more gas pumps. Yeah. It's so it's it's a weird like kind of mishmash of like a gas station, a Walmart, a, a food court. Like it's it's just like a little bit of everything. It's just kind of weird. It's just fascinating. I'm interested. I mean, we're gonna find out here in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then on the way, we're gonna take the. We're gonna have a fart. We're gonna take a fart. <laughs> we're gonna take a nice big fart. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be the best fart in the world. At the end of April. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be. We're going to film our fart. We're going to film every bit of the fart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing left out. Yeah. Except what I edit. (laughs) Except what you edit. The likelihood, what do you think is the the, um, percentage of Americans who have taken a fart? Oh, every year. I would say say quite a lot. I know there's a lot of families that take at least one fart every year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I I mean, personally, I sometimes I take multiple farts. That's true. You almost take farts for your job. Yeah. Yeah. I take a fart every day. Mm-hmm. Practically. Well, five days a week. Five days a week, yeah, yeah. Five days a week, take five, fart. Five days a week. And yeah, if yeah. you, you know, if you feel up to it, you can take a fart on the weekend. Yeah. I mean. But that's in your personal time. That's a personal fart. Yeah, that's a personal fart. Not not a not a business fart. An international fart is a huge. Yeah. That's not really a fart, though. If you go international, I mean, it's, it's not really a fart. Not a fart. Yeah, that's true. At all. That's no. true. There, there, there's defined criteria of what a fart is. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Should we define it or should we wait? I think we should, we should just uh, take the exit. 
Well, let's uh, go ahead and take that exit. Bro. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll take a fart on my way home. There you go. <laughs> well, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Ding the bell and uh, we'll see you next time. Jen, do you have anything? Take we a should... fart. Take a fart this year. Yeah, take a fart this year. Enjoy your family with a fart. Bye, everyone. See ya.